It's Late Night with Soul Spice. Okay, yes, good evening and welcome to another episode of Late Night with Soul Spice. Trust me, even though I have a lot of men in the studio, these guys have a way of getting on my nerves every living Tuesday. But somehow, somehow, I'm used to them, you know. I'm always one woman among so many men. I love to collect from everybody and they just can't do without me. So, yeah. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Tonight on this particular episode, it's going to be a very special one because we're going to be talking about... Hmm, it's not a very fantastic topic, so to say, really. And um, the truth is, when I picked this topic, I didn't know there was going to be any rumors or any major storyline around this particular topic. Um, for those who know me, uh, myself and my guests had picked this topic weeks before, but somehow, somehow, it's happening at the nick of time, right? Um, tonight, we're talking about why marriages don't last anymore. And if you've been on social media in the last three to four days, you will find out that a whole lot of stories um, has been going all around, right? And um, these stories are not just something that just happened yesterday and then you were wondering how come a marriage of over a decade you know in those days you say once you're five years in marriage you have you have passed it all you know and some of you're hearing marriage of 20 years 15 years 30 years fall apart and then you're wondering what more are we looking for what exactly is that thing that is behind that door that we are going for so today with me, I have a very special guest, right? Um, and this, my guest, is going to help us dissect, you know, um, drill, you know, penetrate finger for us to know why this thing is really happening. It wasn't this way, it wasn't this bad, it wasn't this way years ago. So what's the difference between those times and today of our time, right? Uh, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram and also at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore. That's our Sex Toy page. And yes, Hangout with Soul Spice is happening this coming Saturday. See, let me just say it's sold out. There's no more slots. There's no more space. Right? It's going to be a cozy, erotic, a wild event. So, for those who registered, I want to say thank you so much for trusting me. And for those who did not, ah, wait for the next one. Because it is, we are fully booked and that is that right so yes um tonight we're just talking about you know why marriages don't last what is happening i'm married and somehow i'm not gonna lie i'm scared this is just trying to tell me that even if i'm i've been married for 13 years it doesn't guarantee anything and that's what i see and the last couple of months we've seen marriages of 20 30 years go apart and i'm wondering ah ah after all these years, so me that I'm still 13 now, go show him you're going to hear. Anyways, I'm still here, you know, when it comes to sex, I ain't going nowhere. This might is work. It must work because, wait, if I leave my husband and I separate, who's going to have sex with me? Where am I going to start from? I go nowhere. So, welcome with me, my very special guest. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, won't you, man, sweetheart. Yeah, this one has sweetheart too. I don't know why, but we'll find out why they call him that. But his name that we all get to know him to be is MC Sweetheart. So welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Yeah, 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 Soul Spice. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. So let me start. Why Sweetheart? Sweetheart is a babe's name now. No, no, no. Sweetheart actually came... Just came. How? Okay. How? Um, came from? From my grandma. Oh. Uh, yes. So it's a nickname she used to call. Me also rest in perfect this. Is a nickname she do call her, her guy, you know, her boyfriend. Your her grandma husband. had a boyfriend? Boyfriend, husband. You said boyfriend, though. Then I call them. That's what, when you see couple, when you see couple that stay together mm. and they are best of friends, you know, so you tell, tag them. So she had a good one? A very, very good one. So she actually gave me his name. Are you serious? Yeah, she gave me his name and the nickname she do call him from. I just decided to pick it up and say, okay, let me just add MC to it. Instead of the normal MC Fred, I was like, mm, I need to be unique and different out there. That man must have been a good man. Ah, yeah. yeah. Because for a, for a grandma mm. to give you his name. Mm -hmm. mm. And I took after him, you know, everything. Mm, I, can't, I can't guarantee that. Man. No, you have to. You have to. See me, you've seen him. 
So how come you look? Wait, I don't understand. See me, you see him. How? What's you, the connection? The connection is, he's me and I am him. So you're, you're a sweetheart. Uh, sweetheart, yeah, sweetheart. You believe in yourself so much, bro. Allah, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sure that's where Grandma gave you that name. That. Oh uh, no. This boy. Yeah. So, if you are, tell us, are you married? No, I'm not. Why? A sweetheart should be should be tied down by now by someone. Okay. You know? uh, in no due time, coming. Let's just put it coming soon. How soon? Like coming. Yeah, that's a bit boring, bit like boring. coming very soon, very soon. So you're gonna come quick. Not like that kind of come quick. Coming very soon. And how soon is your come gonna come? Like, let's see, soon, sure. Like next year. Mm. Yeah. So there's someone. There's someone. Mm -hmm. So is, is another sweetheart somewhere? Yeah, yeah definitely no. Uh -uh. I would, I'll be a sweetheart. I'll not have sweetheart. I don't understand. Mm. And her grandma is not here to approve of. No, no, no. For now, she's not. I'll stand in grandma's place. I need to approve. You know? <laughs> because sweethearts must have a sweetheart, right? Okay. So, back to the topic, right? So, apart from the, before we get into the topic, you're an MC, right? Mm -hmm. So, how did you find yourself into, you know, the journey of being an MC, from being a sweetheart to an MC? Okay. It doesn't um, connect. It, it does. It does. Okay. At a point, I, I was not actually an MC. I was an entertainer. I do dance. Mm. days, years back. I was dancing at a point. Mm, I was no longer a dancer. I became a choreographer. Okay. okay. You upgraded. Yeah, upgraded. From there, I saw myself like, oh no, if I keep on dancing from now till, at what age? At a point, you have young ones coming in, vibrant, vib young ones that their body is like, yeah. they know they grieve for anybody. Sure. You understand? So I was now like, okay, Mm, I can do better than this. You know, you being a dancer, you've, um, you've seen the crowd. Yeah. You don't have this fear or phobia of yeah. um, facing anybody people. or talking to anybody. So I was not okay. I started working with a couple of people in Benin. Mm -hmm. Then a couple of people, those top dogs that have brought the likes of um, Agudai and all of them like that. Mm -hmm. So I started working with them. And at the point, I was like, mm. Sir, let me hold the mic and say, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let me introduce you. Let me just say, ladies and gentlemen. And that was how I just said, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody was like, hello, who is this guy? I was like, okay, uh, let me start. Uh, with the program I have here, I believe everybody's going to have fun. We already have our MC, but uh, as it stands, um, I can just crack you up a little. I don't notice I was flowing. Well, and at the point, the, my boss back then was not like, continue, continue, you know, continue. So for 15 minutes, he allowed me. Then after that, he came, he collected the mic, and he was not like, guy, you need to be an MC. And that was how I started. Wow. So I started anchoring from home. Then mm, to when I came down to Lagos, it was just MC, MC all the way. Wow. Somehow, you just, you know, I always thought, well, nature has a way of putting you through where you really deserve to be. Yeah. Even when you don't plan it or when you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so back to our story for today, right? Uh, why marriages don't last. I love the fact that, you know, from your statement, you said something about, you know, your name. Mm -hmm. Coming from your grandma, you know, who loved or who was in love, you know. And I love love. Mm. I am a lover girl. I, I love, love love. Love love. Like anybody that knows me knows that they always call me Ruth. Okay. If you know what Ruth means in the Bible, right? People always say Ruth and Bokoku. That me, I cannot, you know. I remember one time I, I told a couple of people that ah, if something like this happens, ah, me, I don't have energy, I walk away from marriage. Love like you. You go nowhere. <laughs> you cannot survive without your husband. You yeah. cannot survive without a man, you know, basically. And the truth is because I believe in love. And I believe that, you know, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have someone in my inner space, right? So for your grandma to have looked at you, to give you the name she gave you from someone she fell in love with, it, for me, it shows that, you know what, 
My love for this man is they not enough. They were actually a bond. They were a serious bond. How? I don't know. I'll stay very little. Hello? I don't know. Don't, start, don't ask me <laughs> stories that I cannot tell. They are stories. But you'd have noticed one or two things because, you know, so, so that's my fear, right? In those days, we hear people fall in love. So bad that if one person dies, the other person finds it hard to move on. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you never even die, say, they don't move on. You know, of, of a story you just heard that is, that is going around now, yeah. right? Someone leaving the husband's house, you know, she's no longer interested at all. And you, you'll be hoping that, oh, maybe the man still needs to beg, maybe family members need to go and beg her. But babe, don't move on to a bigger dog. So the I, thing I was, is, why is the love? The thing is, um, you know, those days they will say, uh, um, how do they put it? They say love is um, love is blind, love is this, love is that. That was those days. Now, I since I've been anchoring events, I get to realize the fact that you know, as an MC, when you are standing and you are holding that mic mm. and you are addressing the audience, trying to crack them up, trying to put them together, make them enjoy the event yeah. proper. If you are very observant, if you are that watch eye kind of um, MC, you find out that certain things are happening. Things like, is either the groom side, the family, is not in good accord with the bride, mm. or the bride's family is not in good accordance with the groom's side, you will notice something fishy. You understand? And... When things like that start popping up, you'll be like, mm. that's when you now start saying, um, the groom's family come to come and tell you, you need to recognize this person. And when you check the list of people they want you to recognize, it's they are there. all from the groom's side, no bride's side. Now, if it's, if it's a family that knows each other very well, as this family is coming, they'll be like, ah, hey, uh, uh, this is from the bride, please. Mm. And they did, ah, don't forget Sister Ekechi Okoko from, ah, she's my very good friend from the bride. And mm. that is the groom's family talking to you. You understand? Or the bride will be doing the same thing. Or if that is not the case, you find most of them fighting or just because the food did not get to them. Mm. There are several things that happens on that wedding day. But all just because um, some persons uh, give daft ear you're just, mm, I beg, it's wedding now, after everything. It will come to affect mm. the home later. Because at the point, and you find out uh, that same um, family will come and disturb that home later on. Mm. And I always tell people, gone are those days that you, um, after getting married, you now tell mother-in-law, come and stay with me. You tell father-in-law, come and stay with mm. me. Those days, father-in-law, and mother-in-law. Those ones, their hands are like concrete. They are farmers. Mm. They, are, they have this bond together. The mothers then are respecting their husbands. Sure. Nowadays, we have Gen Z's turning mothers. <laughs> we have Gen Z's turning mothers. We have uh, men. We are, they call them men now. They are turning, boys. Boys turning fathers. Yeah. So you find out that now, eh? If you're not calling those set of people to come down, face the fact, how many of these Jesus have you wash picking or Sabi bath picking? I can't even get to baby. So now you find out that aim, you see most of the homes you are seeing breaking. Is it that the mother is involved? She's controlling either the son mm. or she's dictating for the bride, for the daughter. You understand? And when you allow people to come and dictate in your matrimonial home, you get lost. Yeah. Okay. There are several things. So many. Some. Money. You are married to a guy because of money. You, you, you decide to just get married to him because of money. And at the end of the day, you now get to find out that... Money money. No, not be even money. Let's leave that one aside. There are hidden secrets mm. that you now start discovering. Things you did not like. Things that uh, they will say, you know, green one, poor hand. 
and it's making you fear. You're having this fear in your own house. You understand? And by the time you start talking to your friends and they'll be like, hey, run, no. Mm. You get, those kind of men, they will never respect any woman. That's just the truth. So things are actually happening. You, um, if homes are breaking up, they will not actually tell you what happened while the homes are breaking up. There are several things that can just split the homes. There are several things, right? I agree. But, you know, one of the things I, I, would, I, I probably can't say one of the major things is infidelity. You know, I understand the in-law aspect, right? But in situation whereby in-law is not even the problem and infidelity is the problem. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, let's use this, um, this last story as a case study. Mm -hmm. Now, before this story, there was a story of a, um, a woman who's married for over 30 years, mm -hmm. you know, a very high-profile woman. This is the kind of woman that goes around talk about marriage because the, my last encounter with this woman was in, in a religious event where she came to talk about marriage and how they go on um, boat house, that they have like a boat house, they go once a year. Mm -hmm. That's the only time she has time for her husband, you know. She still serves him, you know, because they are busy, busy, busy. They create time for themselves and their children and they create um, twice a year for themselves alone. Mm -hmm. You know, and then all of a sudden, you are hearing somebody's walking away. Like, what is happening? This is a marriage of over 30 something years, whereby even the children are grown. Mm. The children are already, you know, starting their own family. And then you're wondering at what point would anybody want to walk away again in that kind of marriage? You know, and there's a lot of speculation okay, uh, the woman has always been the top person, the man has always been, you know, mm -hmm. follow, follow kind of person. And for me, should that really matter in marriage? Yeah, sometimes it who does. Who brings in money? No, 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 sometimes it does. So, so you're saying if, if you're married to a woman who has more money, you can't survive? No, the thing is, most marriages that you're having a woman who is in charge, mm. who forms the marriage, who forms the home, brings money for everything. Mm. Eh? Some women will still be submissive to their husband. Sure. But you see some? Most. Most, okay, let's put it most will want to control the husband, mm. want to control everything around them. Like, it's like they are now bossy. It's not like they are now bossy, they are bossy. I know we have, we have this boss feeling, not naturally. You understand? So it's just like when they will say, um, do not um, give a woman a chance to rule the country. Because that fear there is, uh, if you give them a chance, they become president. Oh my God, you know, they want to boss everybody around and mm. everything. So most times... Things like that, it happens. And you'll find out that the man can't just seem to take it any longer. He will try as much as possible to go and see if he, want, if he can become that man that she's always insulting him. It mm. will always come. Useless man. Yeah, this is not your mate. You know, things like that. But that's a part. Sometimes, eh, they were actually not friends before they started dating or decided to get married. They were not friends. There's what you call besties now. You see some old people, you'll be like, uh uh, sir, I don't understand. Yeah. You understand? You'll be admiring them. You'll be like, if you just see this one, I'll say, um, hello, uh, hello, dear. How far now? That's a place that you say you want to go. You say, I better leave them. Your young ladies are there. They'll just be disturbing me. They don't know that I'm married to you. Choking me. Yeah. And they'll be laughing. Those are besties that they are friends. They say things, you see them in the toilet eating, discussing. Sure. You understand? They don't see anything as it. You, before you even hear that they've, they had quarrel or they are quarreling, it's as in you don't hear them shout at each other. Mm. They quarrel, they settle it within themselves. Sometimes you'll be asking, uh, waiting up, now they don't get love. You understand? Stop oppressing also. That feel of friendship within, between the a husband and a wife. Mm. I just believe that feel of friendship is what is missing in weddings of nowadays, in couple of nowadays. It's actually missing. And another thing I see again is um, men going out to go and eat outside. I keep on saying it. What kind of food? Like, like just you just want to go and eat outside. 
it's like mm, mama put you why, know why, why can't you eat outside ah <laughs> nigeria don't eat you ladies outside there I, I don't i don't say anything i don't say anything yeah that's outside. what you will feel that's what you will feel but actually you are sending the man away from the house but you don't know i don't believe in that okay so, okay, so let, let me give an example uh -huh. right mm. i'm one person i don't like chores okay i don't like cooking okay right it's not my thing mm -hmm. right i've tried okay but sex is my thing okay i don't have power yeah, but at least you have a way of holding him down you have a way of bringing him down to the house at the point where where it is that if he steps outside and he's like even if he meets another woman there you understand mm -hmm. you'll be like oh this one don't feel rock me the way my wife feel rock me he will still come back to the house Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But some women, they are not into sex. Sure. They don't like cooking. I don't see why you'll be having a maid and you'll be allowing her to do some duties that you know. So what was duty that you had? Hello, to kitchen. Kitchen. Do not allow any other woman going into your kitchen. I'm sorry. Cook. I'm not ready to enter kitchen, no. Ah, wow. I'll have a chef. Like, <laughs> who you want here? Voila, voila. I give energy in the bedroom, so oh, do the cooking. Voila, voila. Then, um, um, dressing. but you know, let me know. Like, I used mm. to feel like men who say, um, women must cook, mm. I feel they are poor men. No, they are not. You know why? I feel like if you have money to a large extent, mm. right, probably you have like a seven bedroom apartment mm -hmm. or a ten bedroom mm. apartment, mm. you wouldn't want to stress your wife. No, that's not true. You might want to eat her food once in a while, mm -hmm. right? Or maybe probably there are some meals that you like, no, mm -mm. not only your room, the mm -hmm. they taste somehow. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you know, most times eh, I get to watch some reality homes, and you find out that eh, the men will be coming back from work. And when they're coming back, they just open the door, mm. the kitchen door. They're seeing their wives on G-string, or bomb shot, okay. you know, bra, eh, or tag top, cooking, and that laps is there, glittering, you understand? Mm. And they are like, damn. Even if they are angry outside, it is not even the food, but you just being inside that kitchen. And at least, if you are waking up in the morning, you know, some men will even give you breakfast on bed. Yeah. You understand? So God why, bless men like that. Why can't you not do something? Do same thing to the man. In a man yeah, they said. They said. They, they, said, they, said, they said. the man. What was the way of dragging, uh, getting to a man's heart? Food and sex. So they say. It's food. It's not true. They, no, they are both. They are both food. They are both food. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm, they are both food. So try as much as possible. We are not saying we will not go outside to go and eat once in a while mm. with a family. You sure. get what I'm saying. Sometimes you might even want to. Uh, maybe you are walking and you are very very hungry. You might want to take a quick one. But there are some certain things that will want to drive a man back to the house as early as possible. Mm. Like me now, I love to cook. Mm. I see a man with talk now. I love to cook. So I'm having a lady, you know, Kansabi cook rich me. I go, they look you one kind, one kind. I know Sabi cook rich one kind. You just have to use me that I look now. <laughs> I know Sabi could be your husband, though. I would look at one kind Do you know if somebody, if I mix to you and my husband mixed to you, the kids would ask, Mommy, well, who's to you? If you can have a visa, who's to you is this first? That would tell they're going to eat or not, though. Do you know most of the men you see around, yeah. most men you see around, I don't know if they are going to agree with me, but it's true. They like to play in that kitchen more than any other place. Yeah, but you know, they, you know they clean them proper. Now you no, no, issue. I'm saying play. Like play with your woman in the kitchen. You mean have sex? Not even sex. Like all those kind of funny plays. She's walking, Erotic. they come. You and snap, you just come, spank, yeah. spank. Then they okay. go get something. In, yeah. And yes. while she's cooking, I sometimes agree. they just come give her peck here. You know, all those kind of things. Or still meat. You are still there. Still and press breast. You understand? Then uh, maybe she's, um, what do you call it? She's a um, uh, uh, chopping yeah. one. One thing or the other, and before you know what's happening, they'll just come and take one. And she's like, No, don't do this again. <laughs> yeah. My dear, forget it. You know, they like to play in the kitchen. Sometimes you are cooking, they'll just carry their phone. They'll come to the kitchen and yeah, just sing with you. So there are some certain things that will definitely want to drive a man home, but some ladies are not doing it. So I feel that is one, but seriously, another thing is sex. Ah, you see that sex. 
Sex is actually breaking a lot of wounds. It is. It's, and it's worse when you're not doing it well, but somehow. It's breaking a lot you, of wounds. You know what I've learned is, I realize that, you know, gone are those days where when a woman walks out of her marriage, well, most times now women they walk out, mm -hmm. basically. Though, I'm not putting blame on anybody, but people say for a woman to walk away, she would have been pushed to the wall yeah. over time. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of men believe that when I cheat on you, I apologize, you forgive and we move on. But I always say one time could be a mistake. Even though I know deep down, it's a little mistake. Mm -hmm. Because you are not, there was no gun to your head, right? I would always say one time could be a mistake. But twice, three times, it's not a decision. Mm -hmm. You have chosen to do it thinking that you will not be caught. But someone's God will catch you. Because he catch you, right? Now, when a woman walks away, in those days, it is believed that when you walk away, you know, you become almost useless. Nobody will marry you. Nobody will put you in. Not now. You know. But now, there's like, for every time you're walking away, you are hot kick. As in, no like, be before now. you even reach gates. No be now. They don't carry you. Anyways, um, I'm going to wait another break. And when we come back, we'll talk more about why marriages are not working anymore. Is it true that when you walk out of your marriage, right, or when most women nowadays walk out, they find better, bigger men? Is that true? Think about it and let us know your opinion when we get back. Don't go anywhere because MC Sweetheart and Soul Spice Sweetheart will be right back. Uh -uh, you don't change your name to Soul Spice Sweetheart. <laughs> It's late night with so spice. It's late night with so spice. Okay, yes, welcome back to late night with so spice. I see how we meet the very sweet Superman, um, MC Sweetheart. Um, I will call it part of that name. You go pick one. What an a heart thing will take? I will take the sweet, or I will take the heart. You will take the sweet. Which one are you picking? I believe my sweetheart for me. You have to pick one. Nah, nah, nah. Sweet or heart? Sweet heart. No, you can't take the two. I want one. No, the heart is sweet. Sweet, the is heart. the heart. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so, the two in one. As in the, it can. They are like body and soul. They can't go. They can't go apart. I'm somebody solo. I know. That's why. So. He, he got somebody so. Mm. So if you are somebody so, who, what of the body? The person is the body. The person is the body, mm. and you are the soul. And me too. I'm somebody so, and I'm somebody's body. So let. So who is the spirit? Spirit, spirit, and God. Is body, spirit, and soul? No, spirit and God. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, the number to call is right there on the TV screen, so feel free to call us to let us know why you think marriages don't last anymore. In those days, our parents stayed though, right? But nowadays, we walk away with our full chest. Now, come to think of it, during our parents' time, right, people, a lot of people would say, oh, they stayed because they didn't have a choice. That basically not all women were happy. But in those days, it was like a shameful thing if you walk away from a marriage. Now, we now had another phase where when you walk away, people are ashamed to say they have walked away. They walk away silently. Um, they don't talk about it. They don't brag about it. You find out sometimes you just hear one or two people on social media say, oh, my marriage lasted three years. Oh, I've been divorced for years. And you're like, ah, divorce case. So, Spice, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Those days... Mm. women mm. and men and these days women and men yeah what are the differences so those days men right they bring in those days they were bringing in everything the money you know the men actually did the work right and they had the money right women were home nowadays women and men they are both out they're bringing in the money together mm. i don't think that's that's true we work as well. What I see is technology. Yeah, technology. But no, so, so the thing is, there's technology, yes. But you see, in those days, women helped their husbands and the farm. You don't get it. It's just technology. It's still the same thing. No, people were even working away in those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I said it's technology. But, but you know, we then, can also say they were not really happy. Then, they were not happy. But, you but know, they as a then, you can't really say um, this thing is happening in USA. And you're mm, seeing it. Yeah. You know, it was when it's when we started seeing uh, things on Instagram, how they break up easily in the US, how they break up easily abroad. I felt we could do it you too. You know, and now, yeah. then, our mother's a Thai rapper comfortably 
in their house. And we see Thai rapper comfortable in our houses. It's not like not the kind of rapper now is customized rapper. You understand? They, you, <laughs> you just take it to one designer. You know, then it's tailor. <laughs> now Obioma that year, now it's not designers. You know, so now they take it to des uh, designers. They will, you see rapper rapper out on skirts. You don't even have rapper again. It's skirts. Yes, yeah, so it's skirts. Yeah. So everything has changed. Technology has broadened everybody's eyes up. It's not like we are living in the 21st century, mm -hmm. you know? So you are seeing things that are happening there. You find out that um, in India, women are marrying men. True, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're paying by uh, uh, room price. You misbehave in the other side of the country. Women can easily take over, take over and take everything. All, take everything. Yeah. So there are some certain things that are coming down to the African land. Mm. You get so I believe those are the things that are actually damaging homes. I never wanted to say, but I just had to bring it up. But what, what about what about infidelity? It's, See, men in those days, it. men in those days were cheating, Be weird. right, with their full chest. Yes. Now, one thing I learned in those days is so for I don't know about every other person, but I know that like Delta men, right, when a typical Delta man cheats. And probably impregnate someone outside and has a baby outside. They bring them home. Bring them home. Those are you no know, get shame. You know, growing up, I used to tell myself I would never marry a Delta man. I used to say it. I always say it for nature to hear. Mm -hmm. I would never marry a Delta man. Mm -hmm. Somehow, that never. Now I say my Delta man. So yeah, say really. Like I was very specific. Mm -hmm. Of all tribes, Delta is a no no. Because I felt like a lot of Delta men had no shame. Then, sorry to say, not now. Then, you know, you impregnate someone outside. You are bringing the child home. You say you don't leave your child outside. There's no bastard, you know, and all those things, right? But that being said, I think a lot of Delta men have grown to learn from their parents' mistakes, right? So they don't really, not like they're perfect, but some of them don't do all that rubbish anymore. Like impregnate someone, bring your baby home, we have Delta men who are more focused. Do you know ladies, ladies we have of nowadays, I don't call them girls. Ladies we have nowadays, mm. most especially like the Jesus we have nowadays. They will even tell you, they, they will even tell you that they are pregnant and they want to take it off. They will tell you. Take it off how? Like the abortion now. They don't want, they don't want the picking. Guy, alpha, I never enjoy life. Yeah. They will tell you like. I've heard of that thing. Uh-uh. Posting your two. They'll go, they tell you straight up, say, guy, how far? I want to stay enjoy life. I never make money. I never get house for lucky. I never. You understand? So there are several things. But don't you think children have you of holding you down? Mm. Mm. Not this, not this, this new generation. Why? Children hold people down. I don't understand. Not this new generation. I'll, I'll give you an example. We have baby mamas full everywhere. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, uh -huh. right? So the number to call is right on the TV screen. Feel free to call in to let us know what you think about the topic and why marriages don't last anymore, right? Um, so let me give you an example. I'm a mom of three, mm -hmm. right? And um, the kind of woman that with my children, my children, my husband, my husband, you know, my family, my family. But somehow, for the very first time, I walked out on everyone. I mean, my husband and my kids. I left home in the morning. I came back later at night. Because I felt like, you know what? I wanted me. Mm -hmm. It's not something I would do. But you did not walk out now. You're still at home. Yeah. No, I, I, I left the house for like 12 hours there. Yeah, around. Yeah, but you still came back. I didn't have a choice. And then this one I'm talking about <laughs> right now, they will go and tell you all how. That they don't want I'd rather raise the child myself. And they will continue with whatsoever they are doing. Mm. They are not ready to stay in husband's house. Because somehow, husband's house has no, a real... No, 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 that's not the truth. That is not the truth. No, no, so it, it goes back to who you're married to. Yes. I've seen a lot of people who are married. That's and I'm asking, must you be married? That's why I'm saying technology is actually spoiling a lot of things right now. What about the men that are not, they are not, they are not, they are not... See, you see men's part, eh? You will not, you will not say you that. You see men's, no, I'm saying it, I'm still saying it. Okay. Men's part right now, eh? It's, um, unlike before, every Saturday weddings. Mm. There are still weddings? Uh, not like before. I know what I'm saying. Are you serious? Yes. But you should know. So let me ask you one question. Mm. Have you ever, or do you, let me not say have you, do you ever, you know, look at any of your weddings, right? That your uncle and say, mm. this one no go last. This several, one go last. Several. 
Like several. Are you serious? Ah, several. Before it starts, safe. I'll say, hey. you, know, you, you, you know, like you just talked about one mm. and you're like, this one, it will last. Mm -hmm. They never marry you. They never marry at all. But you don't see, say, ah, the friendship. You no, know, if you see those two, they're not guessing. <laughs> Do you, you have a caller, right? Hello? Okay, we lost that caller. They don't have him. No, those ones, they don't get shame. They don't get shame. So is that enough reason for you to say the marriage would last? No. The thing is, eh, you will see it. You will see it's written on the wall. As in, the way they move, the way they talk. Okay, so you have a caller. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can I hear you? Man, where are you calling from? I'm Kazim from Kano. Kazim. I'm not joining the show now. I don't know where you're talking about. I don't know where you're talking about. Okay, so we're talking about why marriages don't last. Do you have any experience on why marriages don't last anymore? Why marriages don't last? Yes. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think basically, the ones I example, I think it's maybe cheating or adultery, something like that. Adultery from whose end? From the man's end or the woman's end? I don't, I don't know, I can't, I can't clarify the percentage, but I think it's more the man's place than the woman. Both, both, from both sides, yeah, but, uh, from both sides. Mm. Okay, all right. I, I, then... I don't have the experience because of me, I, I'm not married yet, so <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know. So if you marry, do you think you will cheat on your wife? Mm -hmm. No, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't cheat on her. Won't... Are you sure? I'm very, very sure. We, I'm hearing this voice. Looks is like this show? This, this voice. Ah. I like I saw. <laughs> no, I want you. I want you to. I want you to. And the way you are even saying you want you to her. If, if 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 I'm tempted, if I'm tempted, that means I'll just get I'll just get married to two wives. Then. Oh, imagine. <laughs> you don't want to now. <laughs> what are we not saying? Eh? Uh -huh. Marry two wives. Won't you cheat before you marry? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for calling. Thank you so much for calling. So that's what they love about Muslims, right? Muslims have options. But it's painful that it's just on one side. It's not on both ends. No, the thing is, everybody, if, if you ask everybody, they want to say uh, um, adultery. Adul the truth is, see, eh, this cheating of the thing have been of ages. like Yes. From so, the so no, I don't, I, I don't disagree with mm -hmm. you. So for me, right, I believe that if I'm married to you, right, and we have an agreement to say, for better, for worse, to do, do us mm -hmm. part. And I hold my sight. I hold my body. Mm -hmm. Not like I don't have toasters. Or I don't have people I feel like I want to have sex with. Mm -hmm. A lot of men feel, oh, because they see they are in the mood. Mm -hmm. There are some guys that would just be like, ah, I love this guy's chest. Me, I get carried by a guy's broad chest. I love guys with broad chest. You know, mm -hmm. get no worry. Right. I love guys with broad I chest. To, I need to go and start gym, <laughs> And that's what I love about my husband, his broad chest, right? Mm -hmm. So if I see guys with broad chest, I'm like, oh, he's got it, right? Doesn't mean I'm not turned on by him. I'm turned on by that guy because he's... Nobody get broad chest for you now. Okay, I think one or two. Abu, you don't have. Take it out. You don't have. I think Caleb has a little, right? But the truth is, now, when men cheat... They expect us to, to you know, forgive mm -hmm. after they apologize. Mm -hmm. Now, some might genuinely apologize, but a lot of them feel, what do you find good there? Why did you go through my phone, mm -hmm. right? Now, when I forgive you the first time, I probably would say it was a mistake, mm -hmm. or I deceived myself that it was a mistake. When it comes to a second and a third time, I feel a lot of men push women to the wall. Women will say, okay, I'll forgive you, we'll move on. But deep down, have you really forgiven? Yeah, can you true. forgive? Can you forgive? We can't forgive. Women hardly forgive. That's we just we can't. And Even if I forgive you, can I forget? No. You, so I just look at you and like, you know what? You are so annoying. And you see because the, of what you did. And you see this word, sorry. It goes a long way. But you see women, eh? Women. If men, if men now want to tell you sorry, mm. they say it's like wholeheartedly. Mm. Before women go tell you sorry, there must be like from Abuja to Gwangwalada story and all of them going to America, coming back to do say, you know, enter Jigawa. They will tell you everything before the story, the story will even land. 
Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So now, eh, speaking of home breaking, there are some families that are very crazy. Like I said, like I know of one, I won't mention names, but I know of one. If you see this couple, they are like 10 years now. You get? There was a time I went to their house, they had a party, and I was like, We are on our kids. Mm. Is that? They do with my sister. So what do they do for party, house party? So they want to have fun. Yes, no. I was like, okay. You are saying yes now. Let me now tell you what they did. Do you know they did not invite anybody? It's house party. The man and the woman, they both agreed. The woman just brought three more ladies. Okay. They want to have fun. Yeah, they're in an open marriage. That's nice. Have fun. Have fun. Have sex. Yo, bam. Uh -huh. That's nice. You, you can say it to me. I can say it. What? Okay, so you have a caller. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello? Good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Could you please move closer to your phone? Okay, I'm as close as I am to my phone right now. Okay, so where are you calling from? From where? Abuja. 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 Oh, okay. okay. So, do you have a question or you want to join the conversation? We're talking about why marriages don't last. Exactly. I, I, I was really fascinated and I was like, maybe we can talk to So, do you want to tell us why it doesn't last anymore? Okay. So, what I'm trying to contribute is that the reason we need to why divorce rate and divorce is happening. So much right now in the country. Oh. I would like to say that if you just look at statistics, they need to look at the numbers. We we'll discover that the divorce rates are higher now in the region than they yeah. have ever been in the world. Yeah, so true. One of the world has very serious rates of divorce, like the terms of having 71%, and the US having 50%. Wow. So it's very serious. And it's very serious. So it's very serious. So it's very serious. So it's very serious. So that means out of every 10 marriages in the US, five of them will end in divorce. So many of them are having kids. But go back to the past. Even in Africa and in other parts of the world, they have been very, very low divorces or nothing at all. And we have discovered that because the kind of nature of the um, um, of, of the site we have now is the most risky increase. And what I have to share about that is because in, in the time of our fathers, we have decided to Can't hear Hello? you. Everything. Hello, sorry. Um, okay. I was trying to say that after our fathers until now, mm. we discovered that the same of our fathers, women were more submissive than the Arabs. And this is why we find that the Arabs are more submissive. Okay, so we're, we're struggling to hear you. I think we are having network issues with his line. Um, but so did, you, please, did, you, did you try to get one? Yes. So please feel free to call us back, right? Um, if you get to get through, right? So what he's saying is, in those days, right, marriages last, you know, longer than now. Said Gen Zs, we are not patient. For every ten marriages you see, at least five would crash. That's what he's saying. So before he went, he was talking about something about um, fathers in those days and fathers now. That's that one. No, I, 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 I totally don't agree with him. Why? Because those days, uh -uh, mm. men marry more than one. They still do. No, they do, but it's not like those days. But, but you, okay, so let me give you an example, right? Mm. We we'll talk about men marrying more. So there was a there was a day I took a bike, mm. and I was talking to the bike man, and he talked about how his first wife. So he has two wives, mm. and this one was telling me how his second wife is more accommodating. Mm -hmm. That his first wife doesn't care. She doesn't allow him to have sex with her, so he hardly goes to see her. He stays with the second one. And I said, have you tried to marry a third wife and see how the second wife will treat you? Because it's very easy. Yeah. The second wife feels like, oh, I'm the apple of his eyes, mm -hmm. right? The first wife feels like, you dumped me. I'm not good enough for you to have brought in somebody else, yeah. right? So and so the man so is enjoy, feeling... So enjoy yourself. Do you understand? So the man is feeling like, 
and the professor doesn't care about him anymore, she just, I'm like, no. What I about said, what about those days that you see chiefs mm -hmm. snatching? Like, we, we, no, what, so, you call, so, what you call side chicks? Yeah, now, you just snatch a lady from the road, puts um, draw your name. So that one is tradition, right? Is like saying um, Regina now. So that is what it's like. I'm, it's like Regina wants to marry somebody else. Regina says she wants to get that angry. That is what I'm trying to tell you she right now. She will be angry. You see, tradition mm. held so many things down yeah. then. Mm -hmm. Now that tradition is not having its play, we are now into technology, AI, Gen yeah. Z and everything. So things In religion, say, no fi hold on, say. In religion, no fi hold on. We are not, the religion will be waiting to play our game now. Yeah. You understand? Right now, we are the ones playing the game for religion and even, you understand? Yeah. On, uh, like those days, if you want to get married, you must go home. True, yeah. Tradition. Back to, yeah. Your you village. must go, but right now you do your tradition. We bring them. You are. You bring them to bring Lagos. Them to bring them down is if you are in Lagos, you are in Abuja. I brought them to Lagos when I was trying. You I'm saying, <laughs> but that year they no born you well. Sure. You want to get married, you must go home. Do you know what's so bad? That when we did our introduction, you know, we did it in Lagos. My dad's people said we didn't do anything. That we must come back home. Come back home. And I told them I am not going home. I'm sorry. And I, another thing. But again, my sister went back home with her Another husband. thing again, even when we were small then, when we were little, you found out that parents will call their siblings, you know, everybody will go and gather for Christmas at home. Yeah. yeah you know, family family reunion. Yeah. You come, you eat um, um, rice in one big bowl. One big tray, yeah. One big tray, mulutala, and all of them like that, like Same. that. The ones where they eat hot, where Sabi eat hot. I know say you, your mouth. Now hot, now your mouth. I don't know how to do those, those yeah. kind of things. You understand? So, the worst are those who go to boarding school. They are terrible people. Mm. We are, we are, well, I, I hate I my cousin for those I, things. I attend body, body school. So you find out that then, then it was more of a construct. Mm. There were rules guiding family. Right now, eh, it's like eh, there's a saying then that if your child is going out, eh, it's for everybody. Everybody will help you train your child. Yeah. That time, if your child will come past here and anybody, they feel yeah. beat. They will be that come back. You understand? Yeah. And if it come, you go even beat and join. True. But now. Don't talk my child, I'm sorry. Even in schools, if they are training your child, you go I, be like, say, I told you my kids school, you don't beat my daughter. You understand? So now, there are several things that are no longer in place. Mm. And you find out that hey, when these things are no longer in place, the home is scattering. Mm. But you will not know. They're already having their side effects. They're already having their effects in that home. But you cannot train your child alone. And that is the truth. True. Sure. You can't train your child alone. Those days, you have experience. And even as a child, you have experience of what is happening. You can easily come back home. You have the fear of your dad in you. Hmm. You have the fear of your mom in you. Hmm. If your pop see the worker, they come like this. If you hear my daddy's horn, outside the gate. especially in our home for pop see. Outside the gates. Jesus is Lord. Ah, engineer child, some of Bali, they come house. Yeah. But why are those parents? Why are they so... But they're not, they're not wicked parents. They are so. not. Because my dad, my, they are not wicked people. But I don't know how they train us. You will have that fear of... I say you are walking you, on the street, you see my dad on the road, you will need down. In the middle of the road, you will need down. I say, then, if kids are walking, you see someone who is older than you, eh? you will greet. If, person, if your elder is coming like this and you're coming like you, you will move. give way, yes, so. he will pass. Now, they will pass. They go, you. Fold, they go even, they go enter your body. They, they want kiss you. enter your body. They'll tell you, can't you, can't you excuse me? You understand? Yeah. So there are some certain things that are not. Now, you want to now tell me that those kids will now grow, get married. What do you expect? Yeah. So most times, eh? Mm, Let's call it spade a spade. Some certain things are not being constructed in the house anymore. We always feel we are training our kids, mm. but we are no longer training our kids. But, but the truth is, but, but one thing I've also learned is this, right? In those days, we trained our girls so much, we forget to train the boys. You understand? Right? Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I was talking to someone on Friday, and, you know, my daughter made banana bread, mm. you know, I used to buy, and she was like, mommy, but I'm like, why am I even buying when you can bake? 
For crying out loud, babe, enter the kitchen and bake your banana bread. I'm not, I'm not going to waste money anymore. Mm. You know how to bake it. You have, you've been doing it before. So what's the, what, what the heck? You know, and she baked and someone ate the bread. I'm like, oh, wow. Where did you buy this? I said, I didn't buy it. My daughter made it. I'm like, can she make it for me? Let her just make some for me. I want her to make so I can give my children. And, like, and so my friend was like, wait, she wants your daughter to make bread for what her. What happens to her daughter? For her, for her sons. Why can't her own son, who are older than your daughter, make the same bread? Or at least I'll ask you for a recipe mm -hmm. and then they make it. I'm like, oh, her kids don't enter the kitchen. I said, wait, I don't know, but I said, yes. So they don't enter the kitchen. So she now said, wait, so I'm supposed to train my own daughter. <laughs> I will train her. She will cook. She will wash the everything. Then she will now marry and go and marry one useless woman's child. <laughs> and go and enslave my daughter. I'm like, babe, he said, no. He said, so you're not seeing it. He said, what if your daughter is going to marry the son tomorrow and they fall in love? What do you think will happen? Your daughter have to do everything for the boy because the boy is useless. That, see, that's why I'm saying, do you see that home training? Say charity begins at home and everything. Some certain things are not just falling in place in our homes now. There's no place again say, for it to fall. You understand? So, uh, if you said, like you said before, definitely you must, as a woman, you must know how to cook. And there are still some homes as are there, like in my own home. Mm. <laughs> I'm not born you were. Whether you be man or woman, you be woman. You know, grandmas, eh, they have this special way. I love grandmas. Yes, they have this special way of flogging you. They don't use the knife, the sharp end. They use the blunt end. No, they never do it. Be back. Be back. It not go cut you. Cut you now. Mark no go day. It not go cut you. But they That's go evil. when they mm -hmm, draw this mouth hmm? or they draw your ear, you go they like you know she has my ear being now. Like because of drawing. <laughs> as I draw the ear, the thing oh, good. It... You understand? So, like me, I can pound. As I talk to you, I get more time piece too fast. I they pound. Thank God I'm married. You understand? So I'm not gonna marry a man like you. <laughs> you understand? So it's how will I put it? It's just training. Mm. Even when I was in university, I'm precisely university. It helped me. So you know that was no woman, no wife can use to do shakara. No, if you come my house, say you come to do, I go enter kitchen cook. That's not that for you. Yeah, I go just enter kitchen. So you shakara, man, I don't cook in food. You don't so you food. find out now that, eh, like you said, those days now girls that they train, mm. they leave men. Yeah. Now, now men that they train, they, they leave do. women. You, my, you will stay in your husband's house. But let's call it spade a spade. You see this home breaking, breaking, breaking. Forget those ones of 30 years and what have you and what have you. Mm. The recent happenings. Less than five years. Less than five they years. Didn't even you just, you, two years, three years, you see, say, don't break up. Man. How? It's not how. It is what is happening now. They don't. I always ask don't, myself, I don't what see is the love? See, for me to marry you, mm. I want to believe I'm in love with you. No, love, no deal. See, it's so bad that even at this, my level, how many years of marriage over? Over a decade now. And there's one, there's one thing all these Jay-Z's they have now. Sorry to say, but I have to say it. That I notice. If they see a guy who is scary, mm. who loves them, eh? Even if they offend the guy now, the guy, they tell them sorry. Eh? Okay. They don't want that guy. Yeah, they love all those hard... Yes, you know. The guy will not send them. They will not send them. You, they want to enter in phone, they want to quarrel, you know. They always... Playing one stupid prank that we end up hurting them. You know that thing you said reminds me of a very good friend. This is a friend that I used to wish, like any of my younger sisters would marry. Mm. He's a very decent, loving guy. He got married to the love of his life. Okay. You know, and one day he traveled and came back to an empty home. Mm. They didn't have a fight. Mm. There were no issues. Mm. He had sex with her before he traveled. Mm. But he came back three days after and the house was empty. What happened? She said she wasn't feeling him. That they don't quarrel, he's just there. And know. you see all those kind of people, he, you see all those kind of women, all those kind of ladies, when they will now go and meet the next man, they will go and meet devil himself. Like this guy practically begs for like two years. At the point that I was like, guy, is there something to this girl? Somebody walked away. Or like it was a mistake. You know, she didn't plan it. 
Apparently, she had a bigger dog outside mm -hmm. that she felt okay, this guy was richer mm -hmm. and everything. But you have a god, a guy that will not cheat on you. A guy that does not have time for any other person except you. you will a guy that will tell you sorry. Do you get a guy that will cook for you? Always bring you. The guy will give you all this. This okay, guy. What, is... what else do you want? I'm asking. I'm asking though. What Jesus. else do you not want? See, this guy is my friend. I I saw that. I was like, I thought you said that. Are you okay? She did to just be as a child, like to just be you, mumu, mm -hmm. like this. Like you practically. It is not mumu. He's just in love. He no. just feels like if my wife is happy, I'll have a happier home. That's his. That's his belief system. So, so if I make her happy, if she knows what I do, if she knows how much comes in, we know how to manage it. Now imagine that kind of a man now blocking his heart towards love. You see that? This thing happened, I think, five, six years ago. And, you know, for a guy who didn't have much, that was how this guy found his way, traveled. I said I couldn't reach my friend. I find, I find, I find, I couldn't reach my friend. Only for him to come back this year. Uncle, which hole? Where have you been? He said he went to rest. He had to restructure his life. Now the girl is begging to come back. Eh? eh? You see? She has seen a bigger boy. And my friend is telling me, maybe, I like her, if you collect Nami, we use my hand and kill you. That is it's simple. Because he's just in love. There is a lady that I know, they got married after like three years. The guy lost his job. This guy. Me personally. Me, I behave like Mumu too. You understand? But this you, guy. You are a lover boy. This now. guy, na Mumu Square. In own, as in he gets right from secondary school, he don't get professors. As in they don't give him a certificate. Yeah. YouTube self don't subscribe him from secondary school. You understand? He has been He's monetized. You, now, three years. You and your wife, no quarrel. Because you don't have a job anymore, mm. she left him. She now followed his friend, where she don't know where that one for Gemon because um, that one is always taking her, she and her friends and his friends boat cruise. Mm. They go go, they go go buy this, buy that one, do this one. There's this um, particular food. Is it see see something? Seafood. Really, oh, that, that one with they, they expensive very well. He will buy full everywhere, pay bills. So she do she follow and go Dubai. Mm. They did not come back. So after six months, what happened? They arrested him in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Now, person money, now he <laughs> grab from Saudi, come run, go Dubai, go start business. Then grab him for there. Now, sent her back with nothing. Her hmm. coming back now, this guy, uh -uh. now appointment now. Appointment. His um, younger sister, the friend that just came back, that one was not like, ah, I don't understand. This is your elder brother was nice to us when we were in school then, you understand? So she now, things come good for where she should be. So she just connected in the street. Mm. Connection, no reach two months. They make a general manager. From there, pay start to the rolling. Now, he's doing well. They fly, they go, they come back, they do this one, they come back. She, she came come back. back. Come she back came back and she wants to come back. Do we? When the guy did, they tell me, I was like, sir, I know I anchored your wedding, mm -hmm. but the truth of the matter is, sorry, and I'm not the one that broke your home. Your home was already broken. Except if you want, because if you take her back, you will just die. Yeah. Straight up, six feet, they call you. Because if you take her back, she's not coming because she loves you. She loves you, you know. It's because of that money. She should have stayed back. You understand? If you take her back, you will die. You know, do you know what the guy told me? He said he has two baby mamas already. The guy don't move on. Good guy. No, he don't turn bad guy. He no be good guy again. And that's the bad thing. He said he does not want any lady to live with him. That he's ready to take care of the kids, mm. but they should not live with him. If he wants them, he will go and see them. So imagine that mind switch that that lady has caused. Mm. You understand? So self, a lot of things are happening. A lot. Now, like I said, you see those days, tradition, they make people fear not to do some yeah. certain things. If not, forget. You see those women of those days, those are grandmas and all of them. Them too, they for do she, no? Sure, sure. 
True. Because then they will tell you if you go out to go and do this, um, it will affect your it will affect children, your husband. Your, you, have a, you see, husband will start to be sick. Yeah. Children will be sick. So you'll be scared. Well, to... no, nobody is sick. In... No, for now. Do. You do know they catch anybody. You do and come back. You, you do you know you'll come back. But so, I just said it was not it was not straightforward because for me it was wickedness when a woman cheats and it affects one person, and the men are allowed to cheat. Mm, that I will say that is another thing, Sha. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's another I think thing. a lot of men have access to a lot of things that we don't have. Yes. So you men believe that, oh. You see that a lot of men have. I'm a man. A lot of men have a lot of things. It's not today. It has been right from Adam. But, but, but we need to change those things. So if someone was telling me something nah, today, she the said change she of came into things. Lagos, right? Yeah. And the husband said, oh, go home. I said, no, airport to home is far. I'll lodge in the hotel. Mm. I'll go home the next morning. Why don't stay in the hotel? And you're like, ah, for you that is only sleeping in the hotel 24 7. Mm -hmm. You must say, but I am a man. Mm -hmm. oh, no, you should have said that. Do you get? So you want to go on a girl's trip, and a man is saying, you must be joking. But the same man probably had planned to go on a guy's trip for one of his friend's birthday, mm -hmm. or probably had gone for a guy's event. I will stay in the hotel. And the man is telling you, you're yeah, a woman. And so you want to tell marriage won't break up. Because the question is, what is it that you can do as my husband that is okay with you? I and just, you said I can't do because I I'm a woman. Feel, I just feel that seriously, I won't lie to you, men are overprotective. Yeah, but that's why that's why I said, see, sometimes these children to have a way of holding women down. For a man who wants to travel, he wants to travel, he's not thinking, but he feels the kids will be safe with their mom. But the woman can't do the same because the man is saying, who will take care of the children? Um, and right. for me, it's not fair because women are not allowed to live their life, especially when it comes to children. You hear people say you cannot leave your children with house help, you cannot leave your children with grandma, you cannot leave your children. But a man can just on a Friday wait, night, I wait, don't want to go home, is out. A woman can't do the same. Truth be told, you, I do tell, even sometimes when I'm talking to some couple, I will tell them, see, never allow your kids stay in another person's house. Be it your sister, mm. your brother. Don't split them. Let them grow together. together. Yes, agreed. But what happens when a woman wants to hang out? Right? You find out that most times once a woman is married, and that's where a lot of men get it wrong. You feel, oh, she's my wife, she's to stay at home. A man goes to work Monday to Friday, he's out. He's having fun. Right, they'll tell you, I'm, I'm trying to take stress off me. You know, I've been working Monday to Friday. So Friday, they are from one bar to one but lounge, I have seen, to I one have club, seen, to one I street seen, club. I have seen some men that actually take their wife everywhere. Agreed. How many? What's the percentage? Very few. Very few. And another they thing, take their wives. But how many of their wives can go by themselves? Another thing, not all men are social. Agreed. Right. So I'm talking about the social ones now. Mm -hmm. right. A social man probably will take his wife once in a while mm -hmm. when he has opportunity or when the time comes, right? But how many of the social men would allow their wives to hang out with their friends without them? Okay, now, I just feel, you know, sometimes, like that's what I said, um, there are some women, or most women, mm. when you give them your hand, your finger, mm. they grab the hand. I get what I'm saying. Yeah. When you give them an opportunity, they take opportunities. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now, there are some that they've not been doing it before. And they now, maybe you're not like, ah, feel free. Do what you want to do. do. Hang out with your friends. And see, the truth be told, men, their friends might be talking to them and at the same time, the man will still sit down and like, oh, it's not that my wife that I'm Mm. I'm saying, you know, but women, once you are with your friends and your friends know that, man, your husband is always taking care of you. Most of them, they are hiding on the chook. You are hanging out with them. Some will not be able to control themselves. True. Yeah. You understand? So you find out that before you know what's happening, words will start entering inside the air. Um, the, the, the lady, the friend that um, they are home. Her home is peaceful. Mm. You understand? She used to do yes, sir. Yes, sir. To her husband. We'll come and start telling the girl, hey, see, hello, you see that my guy. I'm outside. 
nothing. He can't do me anything. In fact, I'm the one controlling him. This is this that is that. She will brainwash her friend. That one now, by the time she has taken like one shot, two shots, three shots. Now shot, to go and do the She wants to start putting it into practice. Mm. You understand? And before you know what's happening, she'll start losing her own home. I've seen situations whereby um, after all said, she left her home, her friend came in. Hmm. Like her friend took over. That's the greatest deceit you would ever get. Like... No, her friend, it happens now. You go just date. Okay, let's forget about marriage. So who do you blame in that situation? I blame the man. No. I would blame the man no. to death. Do you know why? Why would you of all, of all women on earth there, take any other person there, but not my is, friend? There is, there is a true life story hmm, of a man that brought his fiancée I want to get married to you. I don't want any other woman. Mm. He brought her home. He brought ring. He wanted to test her. The ring he brought was no, uh, no diamond. Yeah. Nothing. And before then, according to the girl, according to the lady, she's like, mm -hmm. her friend told her that, man, see the diamond ring. The ring where they give the friend, that fake. See the diamond drink where her own guy yeah. used to propose to her. This is okay. Now, you, your guy wants to propose to you. He's giving you a ring. She was like, uh -uh, what kind of a nonsense is this? What kind of ring is this? There's no diamond, no shine, shine, no bling, bling. This is that. That uh, she cannot accept something like this. That, uh -uh. And moreover, he has to even kneel down. And the guy was just testing her because he is dropped and overhead when her friends her. were saying, no. They were like, oh, no. if this guy do mistake, break up with her, then go come enter. Hmm. You understand? And most times, if they're having issues, he will call the friend, the, her own friend, yeah. and he will, she will be like, mm. see, that's why people like us, if we are praying for men like you, not be who they sell in market, be that one. People like us, they pray. But, but, when, you, but, but when you hear that from your friends, mm. should you be worried? I don't understand. Who? Are you when, talking to the lady now? You're talking no, to when, when women, mm. for instance, right, if a woman tells her friend mm. about probably her husband or her boyfriend and the mm. friend says, ah, we are praying for this kind of man, do you think the woman should be worried? Yes, she should. Why? Why can't the friend just wish for See, the kind of... Do not allow, as in, let's say, let's not pray for something bad. A lot is happening in this world mm. that most women, they don't know because... Your home is blessed. But if I, if I have a friend who has a good man, right, and I admire the kind of man, why can't I pray for such a It him? may be you, but you don't know the next person. Okay, sure. I'm telling you, he came, he was testing her. When she, he noticed that she was not listening to him, he called the friend. He was like, hey, how are you? See, that your friend, I beg. The way she, she, they give me troubles, in fact. Let's say I know they're interested again. Do you know what this girl told me? She was like, see, guy, I don't they tell you since. If not me, you did it. And in she other was standing words, right in front of If not me, you did it. You won't be having words, all these issues. You I'm understand? Do you know what he did? He cut the cup. He just gave her the ring and he was like, are you ready to take this ring or not? She collected the ring, called her friend out. She was like, you are a bad friend from today. And said, please don't come to my house. Because that would definitely take your husband. You understand what I'm saying? So now, the thing is, I am not supporting the fact that men will go out and women will stay at home. Mm. But most times, eh, men can actually go out. You will feel they are stupid, but they know what they are doing. Not all men. Not no, all. but we see a reasonable man that would, you know, probably rather than do anything out or outside, they would rather come home. You understand? You know, but you see... Some ladies, some women will go out and get influenced straight up. Mm. Little talks here and there. Giving ears to what they are not supposed to give ears to. Saying things before you know what's happening. Comparison don't they enter. And once comparison starts entering in a woman's life, forget it. Most especially the women we are having nowadays. See, I am telling you from facts. Yeah. You see the women we are having nowadays. I'm eh? not even seeing a matter of comparison. If you have so many the, useless men you out see, there. Sorry if to you say. See, see, the women of nowadays, eh, they are not contented with what they have. 
Yeah. Most of them, their guy go even get money. They want, they want more. They want more. It's like their guy get money, but you know they, you know they dope me well. Mm. You understand? They will start looking for who go dope them well. And sometimes their guy get money, but you know get six packs. They, they go gym, go they find one young guy. They, uh, uh, but you can't have everything. Their guy no get money. Some will say he does not have money. I think you no know, get money, man find who get money. But you still remain there. Because he's good in bed. You something like that. And his loving is caring. Okay, we have a caller. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt. Wow. Okay. So tell me, um, do, you have, do you want to join the conversation or you have a question for us? No, I just want to talk about a few of my social situation. Okay. Please go ahead. This is a friend of mine. He traveled to the UK. Um, this is girlfriend. There was a girlfriend that was in the So he decided to bring the girl to the UK. We were in the UK together. Put her in a, in a nursing school. She finished. And uh, started a uh, nursing career. Mm. She started hanging out with some friends. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, the time she has now. She started making money. Um, they, 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 were, they were married. They became married. Within three years of their marriage, the girl became a different person. Before you knew it, the house the girl had in the UK, the girl made sure the, the girl left the house. Mm. Mm. Leaving the house, the guy became frustrated. Mm. He did not know what to do. This same girl, she has taken up a permit. This is the guy that has worked his life for more like 15 years in the UK and just lost it not because he got married to a girl. Mm. So I was hearing from you, your, your guest, those women, they have been influenced by other women. This is my guy presently. He has left UK to mm. another to another country. Just that part of the has taken everything he has worked for for fifteen years. Mm. If it's if it's somebody that is uh, wicked, he could go all the way. And before you know it, that woman will not be that woman will not be alive today. Sure. But he decided to say he leave the woman to God. Mm. So Things are happening, things are happening as well. You know, the women of nowadays is only really God that will help us. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. See, stories well, like this, truth. stories like this break my heart, right? Because I always ask myself, do these people have conscience? No, it's not new now. It's not new, but what happens to them at their old age? Because for a man to have worked 15 years and you want to take it all from him. Have you been, to, pain, have you been to an HR before? No, I don't think so. No. You've been, have you been to an umbra? No. They don't have landlords there. They have landladies. Hmm? Again? Half of the population of land owners mm. are landladies. Why? But you used to, you used to be landlords. Which, la to... which landlord? Landlord. No, like, Landlord no day again. Landlord don't lose his job. Landlord no guess it again. Why? How come? The women that the women are the ones ruling that community. So do the men lose it to them? Most or? of them are even dead. Oh. There are a lot of things that are happening that we do not even know about. Mm. But except you travel to places before you know, okay, this is what is happening, that is what is happening, then when you fuse in and decide, okay, let you bring one and two together, you find out that, mm. So all their husbands are dead? Not all, though. I did not say all. Oh, yeah. Before I'll go to Anicha and go and blame you. So the thing is, uh, you find out that uh, uh, when you are hearing the uh, one Yasaba. What does that mean? Ah, uh, uh, mother of Asaba now. Okay. You are hearing, uh, um, ah, there's a name they do call it in, um, in Anambra. Now, you find out that um, you have more of landladies there. That's why you hear, you hear sleep, uh, sleeping, sleeping Mulanya. 
what I'm not Igbo, but okay. I stayed there. Most times I, you know, when we're having this our job, we go to anchor events, we you hear those move slams. around here. So, so what does that mean? That one, when you're sleeping, you use one eye. Open the other eye. Oh. They stab. There were days in Anambra that the women would just sit and kill their husband. And nobody does anything. Ah, I don't understand. It was more like women of cult stuff. Wow. You understand? So things were actually, or things are happening. Like I said, tradition has been holding some certain things to explode. Tradition, seriously. You know, anybody that will come and say, hey, 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 hey. We will say, we'll say that. But the truth is, tradition was actually like a padlock to so mm. many things, to eye opening. You get it? Immediately, we start having AI, artificial intelligence, and all of them. You are now seeing what is happening in Brazil. You are seeing their festival. Before our festival, you know now, mm. our carnival before, you know how mm. our carnival used to be like. But now, if they are holding carnival, pool, if you are even going to pool before in Nigeria, you know, you know how it used to look like. Ladies will still want to cover. Yeah. But now, look bikini, at that, you know. bikini all the way. Just it pa well, it pa not bikini, even up as bikini in ourselves. It was bikini. You understand? Because we now we have started seeing the Brazilians, yeah. we've started seeing the Western world, we started seeing what. Even our carnival is, ca is carnival. It's carnival now, like it's <laughs> cash. You understand? So, okay, imagine our um, pageants now. Our pageants are taking a different shape. Mm. It's not like pageants of before. You understand? So things have changed. And as they are changing, the mindset of people are changing. It's affecting the homes. And parents no longer train their kids very well. <sighs> no more nurturing. They're it's not even true. available. No more. Eh? Eh, are they They're even not available? Not available. No more nurturing. They, I, I, there's, there was a time I anchored um, a child's 50th, uh, fifth birthday. And... Mistakenly, I asked, who would you love most? Daddy and mommy. I was, he was not like, mommy, of course. I was like, wow, what of daddy? Say, daddy will, he will just, I've not seen daddy since one week. Daddy will go out in the morning. He won't come back till in the night till I sleep. Wow. When I wake. The only time I see him is weekends. I love mommy more. Mommy, mommy takes care of me. When I looked at That's a strong the message. dad's yeah, when I looked at the dad's chair, tears dropped. That's a strong message. I was not like, well, God, don't, don't go know, as God, don't go as wrong message. No I, more. I was not like God. If now you send this message now, make it build. Nobody want to be say. I will come on the time you say your balance. We know. It's okay. <laughs> you understand? But seriously, several things are happening. Mm. Um, family trauma on kids. Parental trauma on kids. Mm. If you really want to know um, a home that is stable, maybe they are married, go and check their children. You will know. Most of the homes, you will know. Homes that are having issues, you will know through their kids. Hmm. You will know. When you see girls clinching onto their daddy, ah, uh ah, -uh, ah, uh ah. -uh, yeah, the uh -uh. man's available. Yes, you understand. When you see boys clinching onto their mom, you will know that, okay, it's equal, you understand? But by the time you find out that maybe the children are on one side or they are on no side at all, they don't even want to know if they are. Yeah. There are some homes that you will see the kids. Um, they know in, nanny. No. They don't know parents. No, they have nanny. It's the nanny they see as their person, yeah. not even the dad or the mom. That's, that's, that's really true. I remember one time, you know, for, for some of my friends, it was, it was their nanny. It was never a father or a mother kind mm -hmm. of thing. I know when, when, we now, when we grew up to a certain age, you know, the parents now wanted to come around. And the kids are like, I don't know, what am I supposed to say to him? What am I supposed we, to discuss are we, are with we him? Still, are we still 10? Are you we know, still 5? Am I supposed to sit on a chair and discuss, discuss what now? Like, I don't get too spicy. What am I supposed to say to him, please? So they practically need those friends just for money, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Because you are never available. Like my dad. You know, street days now, that year, when you hear, vroom, you don't run. He said there was a time, first time, I would sleep on the same bed with my daddy. 
If not like, Mona, talk with you, I talk. Everybody get, everybody get in your story. Mm. I mistakenly, I unconsciously, yeah. like, put my hand on his chest. You know this kind cuddling now? <laughs> As if it was a dream, you know? You know when you are having a horror movie? <laughs> I started to get that horror movie. I can't open one. Immediately I open my... Yeah! yeah. See where I put my hand? On this chest. I removed it quickly and I squeezed myself on the edge <laughs> of the bed. Like, I did not leave that place till oh, morning. When my daddy woke up, he was like, my son, you are scared of me. Hmm. That was the first time he would take me outside and he was not like, he was not like... I'm sick. sure he would come down. All, that those, has... all those times that those things were happening, yes, I don't listen to you. I don't give you ears. If anything, they just tell me back. I know how many beatings right, but me, I know I stop on share, but not to that extent that yeah. you know. So before it was happening, he was now talking to me like that, like that. When he was now getting a little bit old, he would be like, There are some certain things I am regretting mm. in the past. Please, children, you will sit us down. See, 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 don't do this to your kids. Don't do this. But I love the fact that your father was able to. Realized early yeah, when I don't grow finish. No, no, but at least he 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 passed it to you. Yeah, yeah. To say, you know what, this was a mistake I made. Mm -hmm. Don't do the same. A lot of parents would not. They, they, they never don't did. Even mind. Like they, they don't they, want. They to don't know. care. You they know. Don't want to know. And then you're wondering, these same parents you not have kids. You not, don't beat that child. Don't talk. Uh, uh, you. So to me, I just believe the solution to everything right now is if the parents. Recent parents that we are having, you that you are still happily married mm. and everything, work on your children. Not just academically, sending them to yeah. the best schools, you know, um, they are in the school, they don't, they don't even have fun. Yeah, there are some kids that they don't have fun in no. school. They're not even happy. They are not that, happy. That's how you find out a lot of kids are now committing suicide. Yeah. Yeah, they, are not, they are not happy. Books all the way. Everything. Read, 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 read. Their eyes. Most of the children you are seeing now, they are, they are, they are with another glass that God did not give to them. Mm. Another eyes that God did not give to them. You understand? So, the thing is, um, we should all learn to work. Let's just work on our kids. Ah. You understand? Great train, train the girls. Train the boys. At least, from there, start... Making the boys know that, hello, if you touch a woman, you're in trouble. Mm. You understand? Making men respect women, starting from that small age. Yeah. Uh, uh, boys, all brothers and sisters, they fight now. But you need to... I've not, I've not seen my kids fight. I always say that. I've not seen my kids... You know, when we were growing up, we used to fight. Mm. I've not seen my children fight. like beat themselves. Uh, let me tell you why. Because you and your boyfriend, sorry, your husband... I have not done it. You've not given them reasons to. My husband will beat me. You don't get it. Sis, there are some homes. They've seen it elsewhere. Yeah. And again, you've not taken your children to go and stay with. Like, stay six months. They don't even stay, three. They don't even stay one night. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Let them go and stay with someone else. A house where things are happening. When they come back, you start seeing the effect mm. of that particular stay on them. So it is better they stay with you, they grow together, they understand each other. But by the time you start separating them, hey, first son, you are going to go and meet my senior sister because I'm traveling, traveling to abroad. And second son, you are going to go and meet Mama in Kechi. You understand? Before you know what's happening, um, the home training there is quite different from, from the, the one, one here. here. And when this they come might, back together, it's, it's never the this same. This might be very strict. This might be on fire and this will be ice water. Mm. And when they come to come and meet each other, that one with fire will not start pressing the one on, with ice water. This one has fear, that one has no fear. Mm. So several things will not start happening. Your home will never be in order again. So it is better you know, okay, this is what this can do and this is what he or she mm. can do. Let them grow together. Let them have that bond. I think that bond is 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 the major thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think one greatest thing my mom did for us was to make us love ourselves. It was about at some time no TV. Mm -hmm. you want to watch TV? Watch yeah. yourselves. You know. So it's about now that we are all married, all our husbands complain like, must you must you see everything? 
Muso sister no. Do you people now as grandchildren, do you have your own WhatsApp group? Ah. We have family, we have immediate, we have cousins. Now, we... do you know this Gen Z they don't have? We have plenty of WhatsApp group. No, no, you don't understand. I'm talking yeah. about because there's no, there's no, there's no grandchildren, mm. children's WhatsApp group. Mm. You understand? Because then there was no technology. True. You understand? But now that there's technology, you don't really have to start traveling here, traveling here all the time. Mm. You understand? So you, you decide talk to in bring you talk in the group. These Gen Z's they don't have. In fact, the cousins of now, they call themselves cousins. They don't because they are like, you know, I beg your dad is not up to my. No, it's true. Ah, it is well. <laughs> this family is not up to my family. Sure, you sure. understand? Maybe this one, their dad has taken them abroad. And this and one, this one never they've been. never been. Mm. You understand? Low academy, high academy, and they'll be looking at each other and they'll be like, Look. they will never, never. But, talk but I think it's a lot of. It, and, and that's that's what leads into all these married marital issues where one person feels you are not up to task, not, uh, you are not up to my level, not, uh, I came down to your level to marry yeah. you, or you know, you cannot Yeah. For crying out loud. Several things, several things are causing it. But the question is, is marriage even worth it? Yeah, it is. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. For those that are working. See, it is. Do you know why? Um, Sometimes I feel it's not worth it. It is. I'm married though. I know. Right. But I feel it's not worth for a lot of people. Like, don't even marry. No, it is. And my friends say, oh, I should not marry. But it you is. are married. I'm like, probably because I have a good one. You don't get it. It is. Because so why are they breaking up? If I've just, we've just said why they are breaking up. So if they don't get married and they don't stay... So, so will... one, one, thing, one thing I feel from all the things you've mm. said is people should learn to be friends. Apart from being friends. Apart from being friends. Let them start from... Um, nurturing their home. It's just a simple truth. From the all family. All these things, yes, mm. from the family. All these things started from... From um, home, yeah. yeah started from um, not taking care of your kids. You understand? Not True. looking out for your kids. Mm. Breaking your kids into, into homes. Why? So I, always if, thought, I always thought when you have children who say, I can't wait to get married. Know that that couple, there's something You understand? Wrong. But when you hear children say, me, God forbid I marry you. Mm -hmm. Just know that Just something know, like, is wrong. Something is wrong when you're married. See, you, you're... M. Swissa, thank you so much for tonight. Oh, really? Trust me, we've spent practically two hours without... Me, without... I'm going to get married, though. Nothing will stop me. No, nothing will stop you. Uh -huh. Somehow, I didn't even think I would marry. Somehow, I never, I never for once prayed for marriage. You know, when I was supposed to get married. But somehow, I think I... People, all my friends say, you're just lucky. You know, and 13 years after, I've never gone back home. Or see? nobody has ever come to say, let's say through their fight, they you are see? fighting. My kids will say, Jaden, I think mommy and daddy, I think they are fighting. <clears throat> they, me, are, they are always thinking. Let me pray for you, okay? Amen. <laughs> God bless. Amen. You will never lack. Amen. Your home will remain peaceful. Amen. Anybody that wants to come and put us on that, mm. Holy Ghost fire, say Kebula. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. So spies, you will sow and you will spice. Amen. Mm. Body and soul will connect you more, more. Amen. As you are going now, you are going to knock in Jesus' name. Ah, amen. Mm. I tap it it. Thank you. <laughs> Glory. See me of all the prayer, the only one I tap into. My dad knocking. May God forgive me. Anyways, um, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm thank so you. Grateful. Thank you for inviting me. Um, the truth is, it hurts me to see that a lot of marriages are not working. Um, it hurts me to say that people who over the years have genuinely rooted for thinking it will work, you know, I find it hard to say that it most times doesn't work out. Not because each party don't want to make it work, but because situations, our belief yeah. systems, our yeah. mindset, our programming, you know, when men feel, I beg, I beg, I'm a man. Mm -hmm. And the almighty woman who feels, come, I can walk away if I want to. That kind of thing. It's very easy to walk away now. Gone are those where women don't just sit at home. They don't, women now have their money. They have their savings. So mm -hmm. it's easy for them to just walk here, get an apartment, mm -hmm. and live life. They want to be in the street. Yeah. Not because they want to sleep around, but they just want that freedom that a lot of men would not give. A lot of men feel, I'm a man, so you can't go out. You're going out with your friends. Oh, you cannot do this. You cannot. And I'm like, she can't do it, but you are doing exactly the same thing. 
how can you be doing the same thing and you're saying she can't do the same thing? So I feel people need to get to that point where they need to set the record straight. And work on their kids. I am your for wife. For future preference. Exactly. Mm, work I on am their not kids. your younger sister. I am not your daughter. I am supposed to be the love of your life. So if you are worried that I'm going out with my friends and you need to protect me, you can perhaps stay somewhere around or hang around till I finish. Then you can take me home to be sure Ooh. I am the man. Okay. No, if, if a lot of men don't no, want their the wives way, to The go way out. you are saying you will take me home, I don't understand. Say, I don't want trouble. You. I came here to do show and I've done the show. Do you Thank want you. To go home with no, no, I beg. I don't want trouble. Sorry. This is now. Um, okay. So my name is MC Sweetheart. My husband's out. Can take you. No, no, no. Shall we talk about that person that did? I am house not party? called. He is alive, <laughs> amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. But don't worry, no Nigerian man. Okay, no, I've not seen no Nigerian man. Most Nigerian men will never have a threesome with another man and their wife. They would rather die than have it happen. But that being said, I, I know couples who are into open marriages. Right, and they're allowed to sleep around. Yeah, yeah. But that would be a two-way thing. If, see, if it's a two-way thing, it's not a problem. But not when one person is doing, and you're saying, I cannot do, but you're sleeping around, and you're saying, ah, nobody can touch my wife. Hello? Hmm? Why are people touching my prick? Mm. Anyways, um, we have come to the end of this particular episode. It's been a very fantastic night, trust me. Um, I'm sure a lot of you did enjoy our conversation. Um, the truth about it is whether you like it or not, like I said, it starts from home. What you feed your kids with, how you train your kids, determine the kind of home they will grow up to have, the kind of marriage they would live by, and the kind of family they would create. Remember, our country, our community, our area starts from you, right? You, your husband, your kids. And that's why we form a community. So if you do not get it right, it's going to tell on other people in the future. So this is to all parents. I know you are busy. I know you're looking for money. But at the same time, please, let us make time for our children. You know, so many old people regret today to say, oh, I didn't have time for my kids because I was, you know, chasing money. Yes, money is good. But at the same time, what happens when you're old and you look back and your kids are not there? Not because they don't love you. But because you were never for them when they, when they needed you, right? They will always pass across the same message to you at your old age. Trust me, life is good. Money is sweeter, but family is the sweetest. So hold on to it, build it, and create a wonderful one for yourself. So that even when you grow, you will look back and be proud of what you have created on earth. On this, I'm going to say, do you have a fantastic night? So we'll come your way again. Please do follow him at MC Sweetheart. You know, he's taken, so he's not free. So all this one is doing is not useless for anybody. <laughs> Nobody needs to anything. But that being said, do follow him at MC Sweetheart. Um, for everyone who's getting married, um, you are having an event, you have your MC Sweetheart. He's a very sweetheart. When I say sweetheart, and he's going to be at um, the Uncensored show on Saturday. So imagine Sweetheart. Coming with soul spice. We're going to be soul spice sweethearts. Hey. We're bringing, we bringing a lot to the table. <laughs> we are making erotic. When I say erotic, it's erotic. So MC Sweetheart is going to... See, you see that eyes? See that piercing eyes? He's taking. He's, he's not useful to anybody anyway. The owner is there watching now. She's like, well, if you just try, don't worry, I'm not trying anything. The one I have at home, I'm not done. If I add this one... Mm. there's no way anyways um thank you so much for watching can't wait to um see you again same time same station next week if you're just joining sorry you had missed plenty but anyways you can still catch up for a replay on thursday on sunday and on monday same station same time see you all same time next week and to all my muslim people congratulations on the end of your fasting um we can't wait to, i know you are not going to kill cow I'll be good this time around. But anyways, please just send my own. I know you're still going to cook, right? Sapa, sapa, yeah, send my own. Whatever it is you're going to be making, send my own. Right? So if you know you're my Muslim friend and I don't get meat or I don't get food, then I, I know that truly I don't have a friend. But to all the Muslims in the studio, to Karim, to Abu, to all of you that fasted, please, 
show yourselves and send my food. I've called you out now. If I don't get anything, trust me, next week I'm going to call them out again with my full chest. Okay, yeah, it's full. Yeah, with my very full chest. Anyway, love you all. See you again, same time, same station next week. Bye. It's late night with so spies.